Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I got lesson two of Java tutorials. So what we are going to go be going over today is your different variable types. So um, right here we got Eclipse, and if you don't know what Eclipse is, and you're just starting in these series of videos, links in the uh, description to go to the introduction and lesson one. So we are going to be going over variable types, and in the next lesson we will finally be getting to actual good stuff, the loops, um, if loops, if statements stuff like that. So what we're going to go ahead and do after we made our new project, I made it Lesson 2. We did that by going File, New Project, and then just name it, naming it Lesson 2. Now we go to File, New, Other, and now we're going to go to Class, and now we're just going to name this um, Variable Types. And that is your class file, so now of course it will open up just like this. And we're going to start with our main method, public static void main string open close args. And then we're going to open with a bracket. And um, you should know the importance of brackets. Um, as you can see right here, we got public class. It opens up a new section of code. And then inside here, we have another uh, kind of method. Um, so And then it opens up. So it basically says that code from here to there is what's inside like what it's going to do and then from here to there that's what the class is going to do so uh, it's very important to know what these brackets they're just like parentheses if you were to say in math class you have x plus six and parentheses you want to do the parentheses first kind of thing like that it closes from x plus six to the rest of the equation kinda of like that idea it's um, very important to know the use of brackets especially when you start getting into if statements and all that good stuff so I'm gonna be going over the different variable types um, the first one is int um, you're gonna say int and then you're gonna say your variable name so you can say x you can say a cuss word you can say hi but um, you can go ahead and declare it just as x high and of course ending off with a semicolon and you can say high equals 67 um, usually you declare um, if you want to just declare and not say what it's equal to you can actually um, this goes with any variable type you can go ahead and say comma int high int by int x int, int y and all of these are different variable types so now you can say by equals six seven whatever that is and you can see that we just declared by and um, so you see int um, we can declare it as a number so int is just like um, in math class integer you think integer you think whole number so that's basically what it is it's a whole number so you can't put decimals in there we have double for that but I'll get in, into that in just a second I'm going over the basic variable um, kind of uh, how you declare variables. So of course we did int up there. So now we can say int la 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 equals um, 57. And you can, um, this is the two ways you basically declare stuff. You can also declare stuff when you're um, using other methods, but um, this is the basic idea. You can either declare them all in kind of like bundles like this, or you can declare them on their own line as long as they are declared here and they're set equal to something down here. So those are ints. Um, so we're just going to comment right there and those are all whole numbers. Going down to the next type of variable and this one's also just as important. So we're going to say double um, high there equals 67.833 so doubles are um, they're decimals so 67.883 that's a decimal that's not a whole number that's not an integer so double is just something you gotta put to memory um, I don't really know the significance of the name relating to decimals but integer is definitely easy and of course these start with lowercase so you can see int int double so um, that's very important to remember how they are cased and how to declare stuff. And just as before, if we want to go ahead and say hi there, we can comment, we can say, I mean, um, we can put a comma right there, and we can say another right there, and then we can semicolon it off, and then we can say hi there equals law um, 99.3455. So 
there's double. The next type of variable we're going to go to is string. So string, I think I showed a little bit in the last video, but we're going to do the same idea. So we're going to say string um, whatever equals, and then you got to do quotes because um, strings are characters. Um, string is very easy to remember, one, and um, it's basically like phrases inside quotes and then we can go ahead and end that. And uh, string is capitalized there. Um, I don't know why uh, string versus double or int is capitalized. It just is. And um, so, yeah. So there's um, three variable types. Uh, very often, that's the ones that I know best. We also do have boolean. Um, so we can go ahead and say boolean b equals true. And booleans are statements, so if you have if something equals b, then do this. So it's used a lot in if statements, checking if something is true or false. So you can either have true or false um, there. So you can't really have, um, let's see, like that. Yeah, that doesn't work. You need a true like or false um, statement right there. There are also methods like char b equals um, whatever the heck this string is. We're going to name that my string. And we can say my string dot char at. And then it's like an index kind of thing. I'm going to show a little more of this later in another video. But um, we can go ahead and use the char at method. So there's the char at method. And we basically said uh, char at or char b1. So we set a variable equal to b1 equals my string. So my string is right here. And we char at zero. So it starts at zeros and prints out that. Where if we go to six, we char at six and go with that. So now I'm going to show you on um, these variable types. I'm going to print them out in a uh, print line. So system.out.println and uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to print out some variables. So we're, I'm going to show one of the uh, int variables. So we're going to go ahead and say int variable test. And this is definitely something to commit to uh, memory, how to s print to the console. Um, so we're going to go ahead and print out the high variable. Then we're going to say plus um, because we're adding another thing to the statement. And uh, now we're going to use the double printing uh, double variable and now we're gonna say plus and uh, we're gonna say use the high there variable I believe that's how I spelt it and yes and now we're gonna go to the next one and we're gonna print out my string and we'll put some quotes in here we'll say the string print and uh, I'm not too worried about this uh, spelling but then we'll say plus that and then we can go over here and say plus, and we're going to print out um, the char. So char, and I'm going to say plus b1. And now if we go ahead and run it, we'll be able to see int variable and test. Um, see right here, 6, 7. And we can see right there, that's our high variable. Printing double variable, 99.3455. And then we have the string print, and then it's, um, we did, let's see, plus my string, which was just high, and we declared that right over, let's see, string um, high, blah, 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 right there. And then we have our char, and um, it's just chars at the O. So you can see right there, we have the O, and we charred at the uh, 6, see right here. So we went 0. Um, this is going to go get into one of my later lessons, but 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's the sixth character, and you always start at 0, 1, 2, 3, and you count spaces. So um, that was introducing you to some of the main variables in Java. So um, you can always go ahead and test out some of these variables. You should get to know these variables and you should get to know how to print out to the console. Um, that I'm going to go and go into just one more thing and I'm going to show you the print functions and you can go ahead and print say hi just like that um, system.out.print and we gotta make sure that we have out 
So there's three main um, print methods, print line and system.out.printf. Printf is used to format. Print, it just prints out, and then print line makes a new line. So if you're going to make a new line, um, there's a lot of ways to do that. And I'm going to get to that in my later video. So I hope you guys like this video all about the variables in Java. And I will have a link to check out more variables, um, all that good stuff. I just covered the ones that I know the best, the ones that I can teach you, and the ones that are most useful. So guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And look forward to more future um, Java tutorials. And I'll see you next time.